Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video um, talking about this bag right here, which is the Coach Courier Carryall in the color Midnight Navy with Brass Hardware. And I thought about um, doing a quick little like review about this bag, showing the details, what fits in here, and also like what my thoughts are at the end as well, and maybe like some styling um, near the end. So yeah, if you're interested in this video, do stay tuned. Also, if you're interested in these kind of like handbag videos, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just like talk about handbags and stuff. So if you're interested in those kind of videos, um, consider liking and subscribing. Just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, um, all the handbags I am talking about are from my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys um, my love for handbags. So for the main exterior details of the bag, as you can see on the front of the bag, it does have this feature like courier design, which is like a leather looping detail on the front there. However, it is going to be like fake um, because it is actually a little press lock here. So you don't actually have to open or close the bag via this tab by pulling it through. Um, you just actually click the sides here and it has two press buttons on the sides that you just click to release the lever. Another detail too is on the flap of the bag. You can see that there is this extra leather binding that goes around the bag and also does go to the back as well. Um, and there is a slight contrast stitching. So the bag itself is in midnight navy and you can see that the stitches on this bag are going to be um, in like a white or very light cream color. The bag itself does feature a top handle here that is affixed onto the bag um, via these split rings on the side in brass hardware. And on the other ring here, it is used to um, be able to add on the extra crossbody strap or shoulder strap to the bag as well. And that is removable. And then you do get like a 1941 hang tag here and it is just going to be a midnight navy on both sides um, with your brass you know, horse and carriage logo on it. And then on the back of the bag, it just has like a little um, slip pocket here with a press button closure. So you just have to like open it. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then on the back of the bag, it does have like a slip pocket. So it's like pretty easy to like get your stuff in and out of because it is a pretty generous size pocket. And there is a little snap button here. So you are able to actually close um, the back of this pocket as well and it's just gonna be lined in like a burgundy microfiber as you can see. Comes to the bottom of the bag you can see that there is a leather base that is actually sewn to the bag and I think that gives the bag a little bit of extra reinforcement on the bottom and it does have four brass feet that are pretty substantial on the bottom as well and then you do get your genuine gloved hand leather stamp right there on the bottom in the gold foil. Another thing I forgot to mention too is that on the back slip pocket here I don't know if you guys can see it pretty well but over here in this corner there is going to be a 1941 stamp right there with a cowhide stamp as well. Um, it actually doesn't say 1941. It's going to say spring summer 2020, which was when this bag was originally launched for. So yeah, that's like a cool little hidden detail here um, in the pocket. When it comes to the leather strap, the bag, as you can see, it's like pretty substantial and you do get, I believe, five adjustments um, that will be covered in the brass grommets right here. And you do get a pretty large buckle as well to adjust your shoulder strap. And for me, I'm 5'7", like 190 pounds. So I actually have mine just in the middle setting for a shoulder bag. I don't typically carry this bag crossbody, but I can easily carry it as a crossbody at this um, middle adjustment as well. And then it does just have um, regular brass um, clips with the coach engraving on it. So getting inside the bag, all you have to do is just click on these little side tabs right here um, to release the lever that holds the flap in place. And then you can see on the little clasp itself, it does say coach right there. And then on the top of the bag, it does feature a zip top as well. So it's like a double security and super easy to get in and out of. And as you can see, it is one large open space. So on the inside of the bag, you can see that you do um, have a little zip pocket in the back here. And it is going to be lined on the inside of that pocket in the 1941 linen liner. And you do also have a little um, story patch attached to that pocket as well. 
And then on this side, you have a little slip pocket here that has a little press stud. So you can close that pocket if you want to. Um, and it is also going to be aligned with the 1941 linen liner as well right there. And overall, the entire bag is going to be aligned in a burgundy microfiber. So those were all the main details of the bag itself on the inside and the outside. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm able to fit in this bag. The first item I'm going to put in my bag is actually this little pouch right here. And I believe this is the um, Charlie pouch in the horse and carriage print. Um, it's super cute and it has a little back pocket too. I mainly use this as a catch-all for my um, larger bags and this usually holds like my mask, gum, and phone charging cable, Germex and stuff. So I really like it and it's also just like a really cute print. So that'll be the first item I will put in my bag. So next is just my round coin purse and I actually use this to hold my headphones. Um, I just like it because I'm still like using the not non-wire stuff like air airpods um so i just keep them coiled up in here and it's just really easy you know keep them untangled so um there's that next is this kate spade pouch and in this little pouch is actually my um essentials from like my, my small bag so i was using a smaller bag the other day and i just had some items in here so I have my glass cleaner, a compact, and also like a chapstick as well. And I use this for like smaller to like medium-ish bags, um, just because it's a really compact size. I just hold, you know, my essentials in here that I need out of that larger pouch. So there's that. Okay, so next is my Dreamer card case in the color Orchid with brass hardware. And I got this, I want to say a couple months ago, and I forgot I actually bought this and I was like cleaning out my SLG drawer and I found it um, in there. So I was like, oh, this is so cute. So I went ahead and changed into it. And yeah, I really like it. And another thing too is that I've had people in the past ask me to do like an SLG collection. Um, so if you guys are interested in that as well, I can do like an SLG collection and show you guys like all the wallets. In all honesty, it's just like a ton of like hard cases and pouches, but if you guys are interested, just leave it down in the comments below and I will like figure it out to do it. So, um, there's that. So next is just my little change pouch and I got this in the outlets a while back. I just really like it to hold like cards, change and cash and stuff just because it is, you know, fairly flat and compact. And if you saw my last video, I still have um, the food stain back here. So I need to clean this because, you know, I clearly haven't. So there's that. They're going to be my keys and um, nothing exciting here. Just a bunch of keys and it's just on a red wristlet strap. Okay, so next is my little pencil case. And this is, I think, from Michael Kors, like, forever ago. I think it was, like, my freshman year. Um, so, like five or six years ago and I have not gotten another pencil case just because I think one is enough because of what it's holding you know it's gonna get pretty um ruined so I have a ton of like pen marks in here and stuff but at least it's in here and not my bag you know so yeah I do occasionally like clean out the damp cloth and it mostly does come out so there's that. The very last item I'll keep inside of my bag is um, some sunscreen and I got this from my friend um, who told me I needed to take care of my skin so I'm taking her advice and taking care of my skin. So I always have this in here with me um, and try to like throw it on when I'm like leaving the house or like in my car or something. So there's that. So this is what it looks like on the inside of my bag with all my items in there. And as you can see, I feel like there's actually some extra space with all those items in there. And I really didn't have to like do much like moving around. I just kind of like threw it in there. So um, if you're more like meticulous and organized, unlike me, um, you probably could um, make this look more pretty. But this is probably how my actual life looks. So yeah, that's the inside of my bag with all the items in there. So here's what the bag looks like closed with all those items in there. And as you can see, there's no like weird distortion with the bag. Um, it looks pretty good overall. I would say there's no like weird wonkiness in the flap or like any bulging. So yeah. And the last thing I want to mention too is my phone. Um, I have the iPhone XS or XR from a while ago, like two years ago. And I usually just keep it back here. So here's my phone case to like play, play pretend with. So I usually have it um, sometimes horizontally like this or I can just easily stick it um, vertically up like so, just like easily grab it out. 
So yeah, my phone does fit in this back pocket. So when it comes to styling this bag, I really don't do much. Um, I often actually keep the bag as is. Um, I did buy this bag originally just for its like, you know, very clean lines and overall aesthetic. So um, sometimes, you know, I want to be fun. So I throw on this extra bag chain on there to make it look cute. And I just got this from like the Cassie 19 right there. So yeah, that's how I would style this bag. So when it comes to this bag, I really do like it a lot. Um, I think the number one thing is the color of this bag. Um, I do not have a navy handbag in my collection. So this is the first navy bag. And I really like it a lot because it's paired with brass hardware. And I feel like the combination of navy and brass with this like slight um, off-white top stitching makes the bag look really sleek. Um, and I don't know, it just feels, I don't know, I feel really good every time I carry this bag. Um, because I am a fairly casual dresser. Like I just usually look like this go in Target. So I um, do occasionally sometimes want to carry a bag that does, you know, elevate my outfit a bit. And I feel like this bag um, does that pretty well. So yeah, really like it a lot. And the other thing that I like about this bag too is I like the wings on this bag being more controlled. Um, I recently got a sling trapeze and, you know, I feel like the wings on that bag are really extreme. Um, so like, here's the bag. And as you can see, I feel like, ugh, the sides like go out a lot you know I like like looking at pictures and having it in real life are like two different things you know like on the site I'm like oh it doesn't look too bad um but like having it in person like whoa these are like like this bag can fly you know um but I really like it you know I I love the design of the bag but I think the wings that they were like a little bit more controlled I'll be more happy like literally like I don't know like this much more like, I don't know, like just touching like that much probably versus that you know um just my opinion on this lean trap years but you know I wish the wings on this one were controlled so I just really appreciate how this bag has more controlled wings okay so that does it for today's video on the coach courier carryout in the color midnight navy with brass hardware um, hopefully you guys liked this video to like and subscribe and if you have any additional questions on this bag or like anything I showed here just leave it down in the comments below or you can message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out there um, but other than that guys have a great rest of your day bye